Okay. Second time's a charm. Let's see if we're able to piece this together. I don't know. I may have to get some outside help for this. It's equal parts, sand and Portland cement, okay? I should have went with my gut because that's what I was guessing. Dang it. Okay, so this is my measure cup. I'm just using a bowl. Use whatever you wish. I'm going to do one. Two bowls of sand to two bowls of Portland cement. We'll see how this goes. I may have to make more. We'll just see how far it goes on my leaf. You have to have a different pile of sand for every leaf that you do. I'm doing this one on a table because I'm taping it. My other ones. I'll actually do out in the, uh, where's my spoon? Out in my flower bed, actually, because I'm just going to leave the sand there when I'm done instead of happening to pick it up and move it. So that way, when I'm done casting my leaf and it's dry, I'll just scatter the sand out. So here I am stirring like you'd make a biscuit. Get my sand and my cement mixture all mixed together. Then I am going to add water until it looks like mashed potatoes. No certain amount. Just like you would if you're doing mashed potatoes, like you put the milk in until you like the consistency. That's what I'm doing. This is where your arm muscle comes in. guys would not believe what I went through to get this cement out of the barn today. Those of you who know me would because it's just a, a typical birdie day. But uh, I had my I had two bags left over from last year of Portland cement so I stacked them in the barn to store them. Obviously that's a bad idea because any moisture that gets around this starts making it into cement. So it was rock hard, but when I started chiseling it with this spoon, it started kind of breaking apart into powder. So I had, I couldn't pick the whole bag up because they're 80 pounds and I am getting old and wimp, wimpy. So I busted the bag open and I was gonna put the cement in my bucket. Oh, that's beautiful. I think I need a little more though. Um, See how runny that is? I'm going to have to add some more. So I start chipping away at this cement. And danged if I don't end up with four goats around me, on top of the bag, sniffing all around, wondering if it's feed, curious. I'm in a hot barn. I'm sweating like a dog at this point. Where's my bowl? I'm getting frustrated because it's taken me 15 minutes to scoop out enough to do one leaf. And I finally got enough out that I think I can do this one leaf. So that's what I went through to get my cement. Note to self, I don't know where I'm going to put my cement this year. I don't know where. I don't want to store my cement in the house. So we'll see what happens. I actually have some chunks here, see, that didn't break up very well. I'm hoping they just kind of make their way into this mixture and melt. I'm not a cement pro, so I don't know. So I have gone to a little wet to a little dry now. It's going to be a back and forth deal, I can tell you, to get this just right. Okay. I'm going to go with a little dry because, let me tell you what happens when you put it on and you start patting it like that to get the leaves straight, the water starts coming to the surface. So, so then you see, you know,
you don't want a lot of water to come to the surface because then it'll take longer to dry. And I know, please do not comment and say, oh, Bertie, you should wear gloves. I know I should. I don't have any right now. And I want to do this because it's nice out. I didn't want to do it on a 90 degree day. And so, yes, you should wear gloves. And I'll wash them off as soon as I get done. In the hose, I actually have the hose running over here on one of my flower beds. Okay. A little stiff, but let's get started and see what happens. See, it is kind of mashed potato-y, a little more on the biscuit side, isn't it? So I just start, I just start putting it on. I'm gonna break these clumps up as I see them because they really do need to be mixed in with the sand. And I'm just gonna start patting it out how you want it. Um, I'm gonna say, depending on what you want your casting for, how thick you want it. Again, that's artist choice. I do mine about a half inch thick because I want it to be pretty sturdy for yard art and stuff. Feeling little clumps. I don't know what they are. I'm kind of nervous. I think they're little rocks. And I don't want rocks in it. So. Start patting it. See how it just kind of runs. It starts going down the side. It's a messy job, but it's fun. No, I would not do this with the grandkids. It would be a mess. This is adult playtime right here. Get it out to the side where you want it. And then you can kind of mold it with your finger, you know, so that it looks natural the way you want it to. And then, I'm only going to do this side with you so you don't have to stand there and watch me slap a leaf for an hour. Then what you do when you're all done with this is you're going to take a trash bag and you're going to lay it over this leaf loosely. You know, lay some rocks around it so that it's laying over the leaf because... You want this to cure, but you want it to cure slowly. So you don't want it to dry out too fast. Why? Why, Birdie, don't you want it to dry out fast? I have no idea. It's just what I learned. <laughs> so I do it. I don't even know. Maybe it cracks if it dries too fast. I don't know. And then after a couple days when you come look at it, if it's a little white inside and you can tell it's starting to cure, starting to dry out nicely, then loosen up your bag a little bit. And and I actually leave mine sitting out here for three or four days. Eventually, I just take the bag off and let it sit for two or three more days. And then I pick it up and I peel my leaf off of it. And if your leaf tears and sticks to it, don't worry, as the leaf dries up, it'll peel It'll roll up on the edges and you can just peel it off. No big deal, it will come off. See how I'm getting to the edge? So I'm just shaping it how I want to at the edge of the leaf. Isn't that fun, you guys? I am the jack of all trades and the master of none. And I like it like that. It's just so fun to try something different. You get bored with one thing. You know, somebody says, well, what do you do? Uh, well, I try anything. I like slow stitch. I like art journals. 
I like gardening. I like cement casting. I like it all. Okay, so here I am doing the back side, and I told you I wouldn't make you watch me. I'm sorry, I am making you watch me. Slapping my leaf. And you know what? I think I'm going to have just the perfect amount to finish this. Thank you, God, for that little blessing. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, you guys. I am scraping the bottom of the bowl, and I'm going to make it. That turned out to be perfect. Now, then I'll want to go rinse my bowl out right away because this stuff dries pretty quickly on everything that you don't want it to. It takes a few days for your leaf to dry because you're excited to see it and see how it turned out. But everything else, your spoon, your table, your clothes, everything else, it dries up pretty quickly. I'm just picking up the crumbles off the edge getting them stuck up there, slapping it out so that it's all adhered to itself, air bubbles come out, just kind of makes the, when you get your hands in this and start doing it, you'll see what I mean, it just makes everything kind of become one. Oh great, you know what I've done? I've slapped my stem through at the top and I'm probably going to end up with a darn hole in it. See if I can gather a little bit off the edges to go up there and cover up my hole. I don't know if that'll work or not. If it does, it does. If I end up with a hole, it was meant to be. Yep, my stem is coming through, so... hole in this one was meant to be. So make sure you have a good glob up there on top, okay? Oh, this is kind of a nifty deal. I'm folding the bag up over it to kind of smooth the edges, and it's working rather nicely. Okay, you guys, look here. Ta-da! We did that in what, 15, 20 minutes? What does it say? 12 minutes, you guys, we did a cement casting. So there you go. Easy breezy. Get your play clothes on. Get out in your yard today and have a little fun, okay? Listen, I was sitting in the house on the couch and I almost, my give a shit was broke. And I almost didn't come out at all. And I thought, you know what? I've got to get outside. And once I got out here, see this crazy idea I got so don't sit on your stoop get your booty out and you will get motivated once you get there I'm trying to clean my hands off so I can shut my camera off but you guys <laughs> I'm glad you visited with me today and I'm glad you watched me do my cement casting and I hope you all have a blessed day I hope you're all very well strong at heart, strong in mind, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye from Birdie.